politician riding roughshod over hard evidence. The UK's chief drugs advisor, Professor David Nutt, has been sacked by the Home Secretary, Alan Johnson, following his criticism of the decision to reclassify cannabis from a, a Class A to a Class B drug. Alan Johnson said Professor Nutt's behaviour ran contrary to his responsibilities. Well, Professor Nutt joins me now. Do you think that is the reason you were sacked? Well, it all goes back, I think, to um, when Gordon Brown took office. Uh, until then, the Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs had made multiple recommendations over 40 years, uh, and every one of them had been accepted by the government. Uh, and Gordon comes in, and Gordon says, cannabis should be Class B, uh, because it's a lethal drug, especially in the form of skunk. Now, that is a politician getting science very, very wrong. And from that point on, I think the relationships between the, my council and the government began to unravel. But is that a question of science, or is it a question of how the criminal justice system operates? You can say X is more dangerous than Y, and so, but it's up to the politicians to decide what then to do with it. Haven't you overstepped the mark? Well, no, the way the, way the Misuse of Drugs Act is supposed to work is that we are supposed to estimate the harms of drugs. And we are then supposed to tell government what we think the harms are and uh, recommend to them where the drug should be classified in the Act. It shouldn't be the other way around. The politicians shouldn't say to us, uh, we think cannabis is class B or ecstasy is class A. Go away and find the evidence to support us. That's quite wrong. But when you say things like in the Guardian newspaper today, if you think scaring kids will stop them using, you're probably wrong. That's going way beyond your job, isn't it? Well, my goal in life is to reduce the harms from drug use. I believe that the best way of doing that is to have a fully scientifically founded Misuse of Drugs Act, which means telling people the truth about drugs. If you pretend that you can lie to kids who know considerably more about drugs than most politicians, all you're doing is demeaning yourself and undermining any sensible message that my committee might give. But you can be a campaigner for changing the drug laws, that's one thing. If you take the job as an independent scientific advisor to the government, aren't you necessarily constrained? Well, the government would like to think so. I don't think so. I think independent scientific advisors should give scientific advice, and hopefully governments would take it. Uh, uh, the advice we give, I believe, would produce the best regulation of drugs. Do you think there will be any other sackings or resignations following yours? Well, I hope, I hope there are no more sackings, but I I'm, would not be at all surprised if other members of my council resign. In fact, I only know one has. Because I, I, one already has? One has already told me he will resign, and I wouldn't be surprised if others do. I think this, the, what has happened today has actually considerably undermined the confidence of scientists in, in government and really dug away at the... A huge amount of work. I mean, I have spent 10 years working for government in this area, N unpaid, totally unpaid. So have ma many of my council have worked for longer, and then they see that the, the, their work is devalued by these relatively simple sort of political uh, decisions. Professor Nutt, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed.